about 23 years ago, God shared a prophecy with me that changed my life. He told me to feed his people joy and that to stroke them awake with his love. He told me that we are all royalty and our earth is our kingdom. And we're not royalty because we earn it or we do right things. We're royalty because that's what Jesus' blood paid for us to have. God put his kingdom in us, his dominion, his authority in us, in power. And that's all in the Holy Spirit. And he gave us authority and dominion to rule over this earth and to bring on earth his will as it is in heaven. There's no sickness, disease, poverty, lack, fear, or death in heaven. And he wants us to bring his will on earth as it is in heaven. And that's what my book is all about. That's what I want to share with you today. Let me give you a few examples that share with you how we're to walk in royalty uh, by sharing with you my favorite parts and chapters in my book. Well, some of my favorite parts in my book are in different chapters. I'm just going to tell you part of them. My favorite part in the book is uh, the healing part that talks about overcoming objections and wrong believing. There's about 10 different um, wrong believings uh, that I have in that section. Uh, for example, like God causes sickness to get glory. And then it says um, what the truth about that scripture is and why. And then it talks about, I mean, what the truth that God does not get glory by making us sick and why that's true. And then the scripture. And it has like 10 different wrong believings in that section and I really like that. The other part that I like is the part that talks about the sovereignty of God. Because if you understand the sovereignty of God, you'll be able to walk in authority, power, and dominion. You'll have right believing. And then the third part that I like is talking about longevity, longevity of life. Um, how many years we can live on this earth. And that's um, in wrong believing. Uh, there's four different wrong believings of the age that we're supposed to die at. And I like that section. Um, so those are the parts of the books that I like. There's, there's certain chapters that I really like, and there's a lot of them. But I just want to share with you two or three. Uh, one of them is on words, because we create our whole world. We change things with words of our mouth. Life and death is in words. And um, the chapter on words just talks about how the power and authority and dominion you have in words when they agree with what God says. And he created everything by words. That's one of my favorite chapters. Another one is the chapter on righteousness. Uh, that chapter actually became my next book. And that's really good because when you understand you're right with God, not by your works, behavior, or obedience, but by faith in Jesus Christ, it changes your whole world. And then the last, well, this one too, I like, um, signs, wonders, and miracles, because that's how we're supposed to all be walking. But my favorite chapter, I have to say, is probably the chapter on raising the dead. Uh, because so many, there's so many opportunities. Um, and there's not, I don't know of anybody out there actually teaching raising the dead. Uh, it's like it's something we're afraid of. It's something that happens in other countries a lot, but doesn't happen as much here. And I believe as part of the end time revival that we're going to have uh, signs, wonders, miracles, and part of that's going to be raising the dead. That's going to increase. Uh, it's Raising the Dead is going to increase, and I like that chapter because that chapter goes over um, why we have authority to raise the dead, who gave us that authority. Uh, it just—it's such a powerful, it's such a powerful chapter that even a pastor would not endorse my book because that chapter said that we have power and authority and dominion to raise the dead animals, and we do. We have authority to raise dead animals or dead people. It says raise the dead. So I'd like for you to read that chapter. When you understand the love of God and what Jesus really did for you, then you can walk boldly with authority and dominion, demonstrating God's love by bringing deliverance, healing, uh, prosperity, blessing, raising the dead, casting out demons, cleansing the lepers, uh, healing the sick. You can bring, demonstrate God's kingdom and bring His love and his will on earth as it is in heaven. And that's what my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living in End Times is all about.